About 1.30 in the afternoon, it's about 122 degrees, and there was a suicide bomber who drove a flatbed truck with about 100 tanks of propane to my front entry control point. They had a dead man switch and detonated, and I basically took the blast face first. I suffered a traumatic brain injury, a loss of hearing, and then burn on 40% of my upper body, third degree. It was like being shell-shocked like a movie. I didn't even realize that I had hearing loss because again, I'm, I'm having multiple surgeries and my pain level is so high that other things didn't really matter. It actually probably took two years to identify that I, I had a hearing problem. I don't really look at it as, as tragic. Just unfortunate that, you know, happened to get blown up. I mean, two minutes later, it could have been somebody else or 10 minutes later, it could have not been me. I just look at it as something I have to deal with and you know, just trying to be positive and move on. I was thrown from the helicopter and basically somersaulting out across the ground and then I just looked up and the helicopter exploded. After experiencing the death and destruction of combat, like you just can't go back and be the person you were before. A lot of the hearing loss now is from traumatic brain injuries, from being so close to the blast. And so I think there's more going on in their brains than just the hearing loss is just one part of that. I never viewed hearing loss as serious or critical. Mine is all intertwined with my combat experience. It's one more thing that he lost because of the war. If life had been different for me, or if I could live it over or whatever, it might have been pretty boring, and mine hasn't been boring for a moment. It's been challenging. <laughs>